Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you for joining with me as we learn something more about our life in Christ and our relationship with God. And it's today's uh, going to be a book read, uh, I'm reading by Max Lucado called Milo, the Mantis Who Wouldn't Pray. And now that we're into springtime and all sorts of bugs have started to arrive again, uh, it's a, a great season for finding all manner of creatures, creepy, crawly creatures uh, that can teach us something about God's creation. And the praying mantis, I don't know if you've ever caught one. I used to catch them all the time when I was a kid. They've got front claws that fold over like this, and they, they're, that's why it was called a praying mantis. It looked like it was in a praying position, and it would grab its prey to eat it. Well, we're going to learn something about a praying mantis who wouldn't pray. Hermie and Wormy were eating their favorite foods at Milo's snack shack. Milo Mantis saw a big storm headed straight towards them. It blew Busby right inside the snack shack. Take cover, Milo shouted. Abandon shack. Hermie, Wormy, Busby, and Milo dashed to safety. Just as a strong wind blew away Milo's snack shack. What am I going to do without my snack shack, Milo asked. Well, tell God what happened. He'll help you. He loves to help, Wormy suggested. How, Milo asked. Pray, Wormy said. Milo whispered, I don't know how to pray. But you were praying mantis, Hermie said. Shh, I know, Milo said. But I don't know what that means. Praying is just talking to God, Wormy said. But I'm small, and God is very big, Milo said. Size doesn't matter, Wormy said. God hears everyone's prayers because God is everywhere. That's it, Milo said. I've got an idea. Milo made signs for his friends to carry everywhere in the garden. Each sign had the same words. Milo needs help. Milo shouted into a megaphone, Hey, God! It's Milo. Would you please look my way? Everyone listened, but no one heard God answer. Wormy put a hand on Milo's shoulder and said, God may seem high in the sky, but he's also near. Just talk to him. That's it. I'll put my message high in the sky, Milo said. Milo painted a message on a big board. Then he tied the board to Skeeter. All the bugs watched as Skeeter zoomed high in the sky until he sputtered, and wheezed and crashed. Milo looked upward. God, would you please help me? No wing budge, no bee buzz. No one heard God answer. Milo, you don't have to go high to get close to God. Just talk to him, Wormy said. That's it. I need to get closer to God, Milo said. Milo built a giant launching pad and a rocket Today is the day that I will get close to God, Milo told his garden friends. The bugs started counting down. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Up, up, Milo flew, higher and higher until he was way up over the garden. Down, 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 Milo fell, right into the raspberry bushes. Fruit went everywhere. Quickly, Hermie and Wormy ran to help Milo. What did you see? Hermie asked. I saw, look, Milo pointed to a big black cloud. Another storm is coming. A storm? Run to safety. Winds rushed through the garden, blowing the signs, the big message board, and the fruit near the launching pad. After the storm, Milo sighed, I just can't get God's attention. Milo, God speaks in many ways, Wormy said. You don't need to hear his voice to know he is working hard for you. Look around. What do you see? Milo looked around. God had been helping all along, just not in the way Milo had expected. Milo smiled. God had given him everything he needed to rebuild the snack shack, a launching pad for the floor, some little signs for the walls and roof, the big message board for the snack shack sign, 
delicious fruit, and best of all, lots of friends who wanted to help. In no time at all, Milo's snack shack was back and better than ever. Thank you, God, for hearing my prayer, Milo said. From now on, I'll be a praying mantis. Now it was time to celebrate, and that meant ice cream for everyone. Remember that, boys and girls. Prayer is just talking with God, who is always with us, always loves us. So talk with him whenever, and may his peace be with you. Thanks for joining with me today.